So basically you just make the sprite um, after you've done like an, 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 like the idle animation you just uh, you basically animate it in this square that basically will be the square like that the XML file would be from the sprite sheet um, and it's easiest to keep it be like keep it be being the same size for every animation it, it's uh, it will make the images more big and more therefore like the file sizes will be bigger and stuff but but it's easier uh, at least personally for me I think it's better to do it like this and just have the, a uniform grid for the animations anyway so you have this square and basically then you just um, yeah make the like extend the thing so that um, you have the full space for the I mean of course you can change off the time and basically that you will have this uh, grace uh, square here in the background still and then you can just simply grab the, um, the frames and just move them like this it's even easier if you like go and toggle on a uh, snap because then uh, if you have the right thing of course so, um, snap to layers then it goes a lot easier um, and basically then you just merge the layers as they are in the right place and you just continue to do that until they're all out like this and of course copy the square of course so it's easier to keep track of otherwise it's yeah basically you just need to need to copy copy the uh, square so that you can just line them up like this alongside the frame for uh, the sprite and then you can just merge all the frames down like that and bam you have a, a grid and then basically what you need to do next is that you um, this should be this for most programs I'm not sure but this info thing here and you basically select uh, the square here so that you can see um, and here it will ses say the width and the height you can also otherwise check this before you expand the, the canvas you can just check how big it is before you do that and uh, that's also a way to do it so here it will ses say the width and height and this is also like not really necessary when you're doing grid but it basically says the coordinates so of course the top or left corner here is zero zero. So of course save save the sprite sheet on into your uh, characters folder thingy. You save it as PNG, of course. Then the, the next thing you basically just take any XML file at all, it doesn't matter. You take it, you copy it, duplicate it, uh, and name it the same thing as the sprite sheet. Then you open it and here is the, well, this is the information about, like, how the, the yeah, how, how it's going to read the sprite sheet. So that's what you'll need the information over the grid for. Um, so again, the, the width and height of this is 752 and 781, like that, so make sure you save that, because that is uh, crucial to remember for when you're, you're like, how, uh, coordinating the grids. So basically what you want to do is uh, you can just clear up all of this apart from one so you just have this like idle zero 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 of course you can name it whatever the hell you want like but but I just like to keep it simple so it's just idle and then right and up and down and left and all that um, and here is the coordinates x is the well the x axis and the y is the y axis um, and of course as I said the topper the most uh, like the upper ed uh, corner left corner of the canvas is zero zero um, and it's easier to just I mean you always start off like that because otherwise it's a bit un unnecessary so this just marks the upper left corner of the of the square f that reads the frame and here the width and height is basically what determines how big the square itself is so it's 752 on width um, and 700 and 81 on height. There we go. 
So now you have this first frame here. Then basically what you want to do is take this and copy it for as many frames as you have for this specific animation. And then you change this to 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, always start on 0 rather than 1. And then basically what you want to do is that you... When you've done this perfect grid pattern, you can just simply take the width of the square and put it in like that, and then basically do that for every every um, thing. You can just use a calculator for that. You can just double it by two, or double it, multiply it by two, and then you have that for the for the third frame, and then you just continue like that, basically. Take it and double it and multiply it by three. And yeah, and of course, like you, you fully decide the format of your sprite sheets, of course. So, like, if you want to, like, for some reason, more space between the grids, and just yeah, you can just check how that works. And and like, you also decide when it will switch rows. When it does switch rows, it's the same kind of principle. Like, let's say he has five more idle frames, even though he doesn't. Let's say he does. You change that to five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Uh, and then basically it switches row on the fifth frame. Then all you do is take the height, uh, c consider like, um, assuming you have like um, d d done this perfect grid system, you just take the height and just put it on Y here. And it's the exact same. It basically works the exact same way. And then you multiply that whenever it's another row. Um, so yeah, it's very it's very simple once you understand it. And yeah. And basically, you, you're all set in that sense. And then of course, when you're going to put in the character into the game, you can just take any presets, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to like, grab one that um, already has like some of the presets that I use. Um, and then you just type in the character's name and it should work. There we go. Of course, one thing to keep in mind um, is uh, by doing this thing with like perfect grid kind of thing, um, you you won't need to worry about pr uh, offsets at all, which is the biggest upside, but that means that the character will be rather uh, out of position compared to other sprites. Which is why you can just simply grab another character, like just anyone, and just kind of reference it to be able to judge. And then, and then just reference it to like move the character so that it is correct in relation to other sprites. I mean, of course, it depends on what kind of sprite you're doing and all that, but but yeah, it's as simple as that, really. And of course, that that's all you need to worry about. Of course, uh, also fix like, the, so the camera is like... You kind of just need a sense for it, but you can reference other sprites for that as well. Um, but yeah, then you've basically done it for the rest of the animations. Um, then you just need to worry about the actual, like, animating itself and positioning the animations correctly in reference to the idle animation, because again, the squares would be the same size if you do it the way I do. Um, and therefore you don't... So you won't need to um, worry about offsets, you just need to move the entire character and then it's all done. Yeah, that's about it.